Welcome back. So let's play Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Last time we solved a we solved the first mystery of the XS Express. And uh, we're running a little errand for uh or we are running an errand for little Bub, the uh bronze Babom, son of Gold Bob and Sylvia. So uh let's go talk to the conductor, see what he has to say. Running this train during the sunset is the high point of every day for me. So let's all hear about it for the XS Express. Huzzah! Huzzah! That's not right. Wait a minute. Probably well, have to come talk to you, don't I? The thing that young Master Bub wants the most? Well, let's us let us deduce, shall we? Why, it is so rudimentary. He wants a Game Boy Advance, my dear Luigi. Because that, my friend, is what young children his age crave above all things. Uh... Do you have anything to say? Nope. Let's go ask him. Okay then, here's a hint. It starts with an A, got it? Okay, here's a second hint. It's a certain person's autograph. Now you got it, don't you? Hmm. Autograph, huh? And he wants to be a train engineer. Maybe we should go get the uh, conductor's... Uh, I said engineer. The conductor's autograph. Also, proof that Toes wear hats because her hair is coming out the side of her hat. Toads are weird little things. At least now we know why there's so many different colors and combinations. Anyway. Hey, Mr. Conductor Man. You want my autograph, sir? Oh, it's for little Bub. Well, yes, of course. Here you are, sir. You got an autograph! Gosh, I've never gotten got, given an autograph before. That felt fantastic. I've also never given an autograph unless you count signing someone's yearbook as an autograph. Probably a good thing, though, because I have no idea if I ever was asked for an autograph, whether I would write my name, or if I was, like, assuming that they were a fan of the channel, which, honestly, who the hell would be at this point, but I wouldn't know whether to write my name or the channel name. Like, Emil, uh, Emil and John write Proton John and Chugga Conroy. I think, John, I think he wrote Chugga Conroy. He might have just wrote Chugga. No, wait, that's the wrong road. Hey, little bub. I got you a thing. So, did you bring me the thing I want most? Here you go. Hey, yeah, bingo, mister. That's just what I wanted. You're a good detective. Here's something for you, just like I said. You got a shiny sprite! That's the only two shiny sprites on the entire train. And nighttime has approached. Oh, it looks so nice at night. Like, it doesn't have a blue tinge or anything, it's just dark. So wonderful. <laughs> wait, wait. That doesn't make sense. The window is reflecting the back of our head. That doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> oh, I never noticed that. That was an autograph, was it, Luigi? Hmm, yes, just as I suspected. Oh, the conductor just came by looking for you, Luigi. He smells of a new mystery. Wait, the conductor or the engineer? Wait, which one is which? Are you the conductor or are you the engineer? 
I guess you are the conductor. Mr. Mario, I'm glad he spoke to me. I just remembered something suspicious. I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to passengers. I gave the la I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for the for it, but it's vexing. I have exactly the I have I have exact blanket counts, which means someone came on board without a ticket. That stowaway might just, might be your suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but I don't but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. If you could if you could look for the unticketed passenger and get the blanket, I thank you. Call me Blanket Private Eye. Honestly? Great, thanks. Well, I'll ha I have to keep watch here, but I'll be waiting for the good news. <laughs> so someone came on board without a ticket. I wonder who that could be. We should check every single room. Now I know this is our room. This room belongs to someone. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Does this room not belong to anyone? Maybe they're just out. Let's go check somewhere else. Okay, you're the fat dude. So we know who's in six, seven, and eight. We know who's in. Well, now we know who's in two. Hello, madam. We know who's in one. We know who's in five and uh, uh, five and three. Who actually does live in here? Hmm. Maybe they're hiding. Ah, it's a ghost! So you found me. Well, as you can see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Oh yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. A yummy sticky threat? No, I've left no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? Sure. All I need is your life. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. Wow, you died on a train? That's horrible. But I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I kept I kept since my earliest childhood days. And my fear is that someone would find it and read it, and the fear that someone would find it and read it has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room, so please find it and bring it back here. If you do that, I will show you where the blanket is. Alright, sure, why not? And don't you even dare read my diary, because if you do, oh, 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 oh a horrible fate awaits you. Oh, that's certainly creepy. That's honestly the most disturbing thing you'll ever see in the game. I mean, look at the color of the dude. He's like blue and yellow with like soulless eyes. Ugh, that's creepy. Did you find it? What? A ghost? And he won't give you the blanket unless you get a diary from the baggage car? I see. Well, go on in. You don't say no to ghosts. I was trying to read that sentence and I didn't read it properly the first time. Hmm. Oh. That looks like a book back there. Ragged diary. That's exactly what we're looking for. Let's go take that back to him. 
Did you find the diary? Wonderful. I knew you would. Now, I cannot leave my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. But I would like to see what's written in it. As would I. That is why I'm going to go uh, save before we open up his diary. Because I don't know what awaits us if we open his diary. I don't know why I'm speaking like that. <clears throat> Seriously though, these windows do not have proper, like, reflection. Anyway. Read the diary? Sure, what the heck? You may be cursed by the ghost. Sure, let's read it. Month X, day X, cloudy. I got on a train today, and on that train... You looked! Even though I told you not to! Now see what happens! And we're back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you get a legit game over for that. Here you go, dude. Did you find my diary? Yes, this is my diary. Very well, your blanket is right here. Hey! You were very wise not to read my diary. Oh, if you, re if you had re read it, you might be a spirit like me right now. But now I can go peacefully on from this world. Thank you so much. You will probably never meet me again in this world. Fare thee well. Bye. Well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wallpaper's so great. Maybe I'll just stay here a little while longer. I can leave whenever, so that's all there is to it. <laughs> well, you just went from scary to kind of lame. It's like, now I can finally pass on. Or, you know, I could just stay here for a little bit. Either works. Cold water is not my, my throat any easier to talk with, but whatever. Man, how am I going to get good thumbnails for this chapter? Hey, we got a mushroom. Maybe we should turn in for the night. End our first day of excess. Man, it's only like four minutes. Oh yeah, the shop closes at night. Man, just look at that. It is so cool. I just want to. I just want to get on a train and just ride around on it for hours and just not even go anywhere. All right, Terry, let's turn in, shall we? The conductor can handle any problems. We don't even get in bed, that's the worst part. There's also only two beds. Train voyage day two. I wonder what's going on out here. Email, do not care. Once again, there's the shop, nothing new. The shop doesn't change, I don't know why I keep saying that, but whatever. Let's go talk to, uh, uh, Pennington. Ah, my dear Luigi, your timing is impeccable. A new case has arrived. Now then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts to my assistant Luigi. Oh, okay, okay, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the con- It contained all the contracts for our next deal, and even our new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll be—I'll lose my job at the least. Now, now, calm yourself. The next part is vital. So tell, tell, tell Luigi very slowly. Of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Serum. Used properly, it is a mating product that can even raise the dead. Wow! The fuck are you guys doing? 
but if mixed with the calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold, well then, the results are explosive. The resulting view blast would mobilize everyone here in a sticky yet yummy shellac. If it's falling into the wrong hands, well, I can lose more than my job. Let's examine these facts, shall we? Someone is still in your briefcase. Though you definitely had it yesterday. Hmm. And the train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. I have it! Rudimentary, my little Luigi! Rudimentary! The thief is still on the train! I could have told you that. Aha! Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress and that late and the late and the lady in cabin two? They both have lost something on this train. The waitress lost shell earrings, and the lady Toodles had lost a gold ring. Luigi, if the same person who stole those objects also has a nitro honey syrup. They can make this goo blast. They can carry out the threat on the note. So it is simple, Luigi. You must find that thief. We must apprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan is put into effect. All right. Well, let's go talk to them and see what uh, see what they know. Why would you want them? Sure, don't give us any hints at all. Thanks. A lot. It helps me out greatly. I'm gonna keep going until I get past this one part, because the next episode, I know for a fact, we're gonna start something. Hello, madam. What's up? Hmm. Ms. Malz, do you, uh, do you know of anything? You know, you're a thief, remember? You said you could track down a thief? Hmm. Huh. What is this? Uh... I wanted to look at that. Huh. Let's go, uh... Let's go see if that's the thing that the mouse guy wants. Hello. Well, I found this. in Zesty's room. Or Zip Toad, whatever. Alright, time to go find him. Back to the room. Aha, we found you. Oh. I guess not. Hmm. Huh. Guess he's not here. That's strange. That is his room, is it not? Well, if he had slipped into anyone else's room, I assume they would have mentioned something about him. Except, we haven't been in our room. Oh, well, that's a dead giveaway. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Boom, motherfucker. Zow, where'd you come from? You won't be catching me that easily, guy. Ouch! 
We win. Oh, this was our man all along, uh, pretending to be Zip Toad, I see. All the while pilfling, pilfering things from others to aid your evil plan. Hmm, yes, it was all just as I had deduced. Pretending to be Zip T. Fake. Curses! I almost got away with it by by getting off at Riverside Stations too. Yes, you played the the daring and indigenous little game, indigenous little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, friend. And now the good people on this train are now safe. That is correct, sir. That is correct, sir. No one escapes from this improbably large brain. <clears throat> well, yes. In any case. At least return what you've stolen, Fink. Bleh. Briefcase. Gold ring. Shell earrings. Ah, oh, my precious briefcase! Is the nitro honey syrup safe? Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank the stars, it's safe. Now I won't get the sack. Bing bong, bing bong, attention all passengers. This train will soon make a brief scheduled stop at Riverside Station. And this is actually where we're going to be uh, doing a bit of puzzle solving. Hey, I think not, Slick. You think you can hold me? No way, Bellum would flip if I let that happen. This whole zip code thing was just a means to an end. It's me, suckers, do bliss! Bellum's plan to, to go... To goofy Mario didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and running now. I'll leave the rest to build them. See ya, suckers. Well, I guess we can head out of here now. But first, we have some items to return to both the waitress and the madam in room two. Here you go. We get a star piece for that. And if we head over to room two, which is not out of our way in any way, shape, or form, because the door leading out of the train is actually out here too. Here we go. Whoops. And we got 30 coins for that. That's nice. I can't believe I had 360 coins and I spent it on this friggin' badge. Anyway... Man, this place looks great. Anyway, that is it for this episode. Thank you all so very much for watching. My name is Lysia Nexus, and next time on Let's Play Paper Mario 1000 Your Door, we're gonna head inside Riverside Station. So until next time...